He moved with fear. He took it seriously. I want to ask you something. Are you just here? Or do you take this seriously? Being warned of God of things not yet seen, you ought to be working toward what is ahead of you, not what's behind you. You're spending all of your energy trying to fix yesterday. You can't fix yesterday. Whatever happened, happened. It is what it is. I've spent the greater part of my life being afraid of things. Afraid of failure and afraid of success. It seems like when I'm about to reach a pinnacle, I allow fear to pull me back down to where I'm comfortable. I've become best friends with fear. And I often wonder how much further along in life I would be if I had cut ties sooner than later. If I'm being honest, the thing I fear the most is myself. I know who I used to be and I'm starting to understand who God has called me to be. And these two, these two are constantly at war with one another. I read somewhere that fear not is quoted 365 times in the Bible. And if this is true, then God cares for us so much that he knew, he knew we would need to be reminded of our position in him every day. Jesus told his disciples, don't let your hearts be troubled, neither be afraid. You believe in God, believe also in me. And a wise man once told me, fear is just false evidence appearing real. So basically this entire time I've been fighting a mirage. I'm always positioned under the shadow of the Almighty. I am chosen and I am loved. And I am not afraid anymore.